Hello, welcome back to all of the Street Fighters. This is a really exciting episode this week because we're moving into the third dimension for the first time ever in the Street Fighter series. We're looking at Street Fighter EX, or more specifically, Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha, which is the PlayStation release of Street Fighter EX. So Street Fighter EX first released in the arcades in late 1996. Uh, there was then a, a kind of turbo edition of it released called Street Fighter EX Plus, which then released in 1997 on the PlayStation as Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha, which is the version that I'm playing here. So Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha was the first game I ever owned on the PlayStation. I was a latecomer to the PS1. I was a Nintendo kid, so I had a Nintendo 64. I eventually got a PlayStation and I got Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha uh, along with a couple of other games uh, when I first got it. But enough about my PlayStation history. Uh, let's talk about Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha because I think it's really, really cool. So, as I said, this is the first. Uh, this is the first time we're jumping into 3D, and it's the first 3D Street Fighter. So, obviously, in modern times, with Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5, we've got very used to 3D Street Fighter. But this was really weird at the time. You know, we'd only seen 2D Street Fighters in the past, and. Yeah, it was odd. I, I kind of I don't know how I felt about it at the time, but it was definitely uh, it was received well, and I think it turned out I, th I think it turned out pretty good. It's important to note that this game isn't considered canon uh, in like the mainline Street Fighter series. So, um, I mean, you'll see this is full of weird characters that don't show up in any other games. Um, so this isn't a mainline Capcom game. Um, it was co-developed by Capcom, it was co-published by Capcom, uh, but also with this, this other company called Arika. So, again, you'll see weird characters, it, it, it kind of controls a bit like the Street Fighter Alpha games, but it's definitely got a different feel, and you can tell it's not a mainline Street Fighter game. So anyway, as we always do, let's start talking about the, the characters in it, because that's a real obvious big thing that's different in every Street Fighter game. So you've got a massive cast in this game of people that we've never seen before. So I'm just going to run down the list. So we've got Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Zangief, Guile, Dal Sim, Akuma, and M. Bison, and Sakura. Uh, they're the characters that we recognize from other Street Fighter games. We've seen these guys before. Um, kind of the, the 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 most recent ones of those would be Akuma and Sakura from Street Fighter Alpha. So then all the new characters uh, we've got Hakuto, D Dark. D Dark's amazing. He drops little bombs and he's he's super cool. Uh, Pullum, C Jack, uh, Blair, Allen, Kyrie, Darren, um, and then you've got the boss. He's called Daruda, and then. Everybody's favorite. This guy is super awesome, and I'm so sad that he never made it into any of the Street Fighters. This guy's Skullamania. I just love Skullamania. Uh, there's always petitions. Every time there's a new Street Fighter game, there's always fan uh, fan petitions to bring back Skullamania. I don't know why. He's just awesome. He's, he wears this kind of this weird outfit, all in one skull suit, um, and yeah he kind of flies around the screen doing little barrel rolls and he's he's quite acrobatic uh, if you've played eddie in tekken he's kind of got little spins and breakdowns things like he does i just i just think he's awesome so street fighter ex plus alpha has got all the modes you'd expect it's got an art, a full arcade mode um it's got a team battle mode uh, a survival mode where you're just seeing how many um opponents you can beat before you die um, you've got a time attack mode, so you're trying to beat a set amount of opponents in the fastest time, and it's got your versus modes, and then it's got this other weird mode called Watch, where you can just set two characters to fight, co uh, computer controlled, and just watch them from different camera angles, which it, I suppose is taking advantage of the 3D graphics and, and the idea that people are going to want to look at these um, polygon characters from, from all different angles, which is something you've never been able to do with Street Fighter because it's always been 2D. Um, but, but playing it now, in hindsight, where 3D, uh, like, polygonal Street Fighter isn't weird, it's a bit of an odd mode and one that you're probably not going to use. So, gameplay features. Um, things that, you know, differ in each Street Fighter game. 
Um, this version of Street Fighter introduces guard breaks. So guard breaks are a new way of um, defeating an opponent's block. So if, 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 you, if your opponent's just standing there blocking constantly and you can't get through, you've previously been able to throw them, and throws um, will, will work through blocks. Um, or some games will allow you just to keep hitting your opponent and, and occasionally, like eventually, their, their, their um, kind of block meter will go to zero and it will break their block. But this introduces guard breaks. So if you press two, if you press punch and kick uh, together, so, so light punch and light kick together, medium punch and medium kick together, or heavy punch and heavy kick together, you, you, your character will kind of pause, power up, and then hit a more powerful attack. And if it hits your opponent, it will break through their guard and it will make them dizzy. Now this uses up one um, bar of your your combo meter, so you need to have you need to have built up some of your super combo gauge uh, before you use this. And as always, it's a toss up if you if you want to use your super combo or you want to use a guard break. I have always found the guard breaks to be too slow to be useful, but that's playing against the computer who who maybe doesn't guard as much as opponents. I like maybe the guard breaks just a, a kind of a way of combating irritating human controlled people who just want to block um, but I kind of lean towards using super combos more often but it's there and it's interesting um, you've also got cancels in Street Fighter EX now uh, cancels are like a real uh, pro Street Fighter thing that, 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 that become more and more common um, and what it means is that you can cancel out of a move. So you can cancel out of the animation of pulling off a move. So a lot of Street Fighter moves, they kind of, they wind up and they lock you into an animation cycle. You know, like Ryu's uh, spinning kick where he'll, he'll spin around the screen. If you miss with that, um, or if you start using it and all of a sudden you change your mind, or if you want to, if you want to fake out your opponent, make them think you're going to do a, a combo or a, or a special move, you can cancel it. And that, that means that you can quickly switch into another kind of basic attack or another special move. And it's kind of, it's using a psychology. And, and, and psychology in Street Fighter and in most fighting games is kind of the most important thing. You're playing with what your opponent thinks you're going to do. You're trying to make them counter something that they expect you're doing but you're not. And cancels uh, are a big part of that. Um, so you'll see those often used with when people are playing Street Fighter EX. So as you can probably tell, I I really like Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha. Um, it's uh, <laughs> one of the things is it's when the uh, the naming convention of Street Fighter kind of became a bit of a joke eventually, and the, all the pluses and the hypers and the, the EXs and apparently EX stands for exquisite by the way, which I just think is incredible. But EX Plus Alpha, um, I'm a big fan of it. As I say, it was my first PlayStation game, so maybe there's some nostalgia attached to it, but I still play it quite often, and there's an arcade that I go to near me that's actually got an arcade version of Street Fighter EX, and I love to sit down and play it um, because I think it's super funny. It's got all these weird characters, and, and I actually quite like a lot of the the odd characters that get introduced in Street Fighter games. You know, Ken's in every game, and Giles in every game, and, and whatever. But it's not every game where you can play Darren or, as I say, Skullamania. Um, so I, I like it for that reason. It also just kind of plays differently. Um, it, it, it does feel like a Street Fighter Alpha game, but there, there's little differences that I like. Um, like, I, I guess because of the polygonal models, some some like some um, air juggles are, are easier, and like like Guile's um, kick, uh, leg sweep that he does, his down and heavy kick, it's always the same in every Street Fighter game. He does kind of a double leg sweep. In this one, both. Uh, both swings of his leg can hit the opponent and it's just like a little difference where it kind of juggles them slightly and every time I play it I like I find these new little like moves that you're super familiar with will, will play slightly differently and I really like that so yeah Street Fighter EX plus Alpha um, we, we haven't looked at Street Fighter EX the you know the, the the original version of this because I don't have easy access to it um, that I can capture you know as I said there's an arcade machine near me with this but I can't easily capture video from it and I can't uh, I haven't I haven't found a way of getting this working on MAME yet so um, I thought I'd play the PlayStation version which you know we can't look at every single game um, but this is this is still a very important entry um, I guess you could say EX Plus Alpha is like the, the champion edition or the turbo version or the Super Street Fighter version of, of EX. So, you know, it's got the differences, but 
this is the only this is the only version of Street Fighter EX we're going to be looking at. They, they did actually release Street Fighter EX two on the PS two, so um, I'll try and get hold of that so we can we can look at that. I didn't ever play that very much. I played it only a couple of times, um, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a copy of it. So I need to I need to go through all my PS two games and see if I can find it. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, I hope you're enjoying this Street Fighter series. I'm I'm having an absolute blast going through all these old Street Fighters and playing them and talking about them because um, they're super fun. And uh, if you're enjoying it as well, drop a little like on the video. Uh, let me know in the comments and let me know which Street Fighter games you're looking forward to. Which ones are your favourites? Um, for me, it's Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and it's Street Fighter 4. So I'm really looking forward to getting to those. And I'm looking forward to getting to Street Fighter 3 as well because it's a weird one. But um, yeah, let me know what let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, I hope you've been enjoying it and I can't wait to see you next time. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on all of the Street Fighters. Bye.